Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Alright, new run here, let's see. I mean, I played Paladin pretty recently, although I'd love to give it another try and get some Consecrates or something. That uh, Shaman uh, is also pretty fun for the arena, but I think the one I haven't played in the longest time is the Hunter. So I guess we're going to go with that. Maybe I'll get really lucky and have extra co have more than two copies of some of the crazy combo stuff they can do now. Speaking of which, knife juggler. I mean, people. I've I've run into some hunters and misdirection is sick. It is nasty. So messed up. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the knife juggler because I'm hoping I can get some crazy hunter combo stuff. And look at this. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf is pretty good. I mean, technically. Is sort of it was nerfed because it, they used to give a permanent plus two attack and now they don't. Now it's only until end of turn. But they also in this at the same time removed the drawback. It used to be if you had no other creatures out, you'd be giving this bonus to an opponent, which is pretty bad if their creature was going to survive. Now you still have to give it to the opponent, but it's only until end of your turn, so it doesn't stick. And actually, you can use this as an advantage. Say, in a priest deck, this would allow you to Shadow or Death something that you normally couldn't. Or if you had the uh, big, game, if you had big game hunters, you could actually use this to pump a big a big creature up into a to a huge creature, give it seven attack or more, so you could big game hunter it. But anyway, I'm taking Starving Buzzard because I'm a friggin' hunter. Hunters need to draw the cards. Um, Animal Companion is an amazing card, and these two guys are quite averagey. So. Uh, the Harvest Golem is very good, but it's not a buzzard! If my deck is all buzzards, I will not complain. I will probably complain, but... Okay, this is interesting, right? Deadly Shot, obviously very strong, and like it'll kill anything, but it is random. Whereas the Hunter's Mark costs zero and it still more or less kills anything as long you just you have to have a source of damage but if as long as you have even like a one one token or something that you can attack with this will let you kill about anything so i i've kind of decided i really like hunter's mark i think i'm going to take this now this is tricky i already have three starving buzzards after six cards so the more beasts I have, the crazier this is going to be. But I do need to have stuff to kill things. Now, I don't like multi-shot all that much in Constructed, but this is the arena, and that's a lot of killing power. I mean, I still use it. In, it was still good in Constructed until I got my until I got all the right cards, like until I had all the exploding shots, and I could replace it. But this is pretty good. Timberwolf. This works well with the combo too. If I can get the Unleash the Hounds, I probably just won't get any un get any Unleash the Hounds because Unleash the Hounds plus Starving Buzzard equals win. I'm really gonna regret turning this down. I mean, I can get beasts that aren't Hunter cards. Hopefully, I'm gonna take the multi shot. Probably regret it. Um, I don't have much that is of decent size yet, so I'm gonna get the Yeti. Animal Companion is amazing. You know, those other guys, like, I've seen a lot of people using that, like, Elven Archer recently. I don't know why, because it's kind of weak. This is hard. I'm going to take an Azure Drake, which is amazing. It's spell, it's like spell power. It's a big creature that still draws you a card without being too expensive. But Explosive Shot is like the killing machine. Did I take the multi shot? I did. I'm still going to take the Explosive Shot, because this thing is awesome. Unleash the hounds. Have to have unleash the hounds. Now I don't know about the the Tundra Rhino. It is a two five charge. It does give itself charge, so that's not bad. But I don't know. Unleash the hounds does the charge itself. You don't need something else to give them charge. Now that I only have one unleash the hounds, I probably won't get any more. <coughs> But Animal Companion has a 1 in 3 chance of having charge. Just the Tundra Rhine is kind of expensive. Because the Gnomish Inventor would draw me another card, which could help me get to, like, combo stuff. Although I don't, might not have that much combo stuff. 
You know what? I'll take the rhino. I've got I've got three starving buzzers. It's, it would draw me hard, hopefully. Um, how do you? Uh, War golem is very good. I don't have anything huge yet, but I'm gonna take the silver hand knight because it's much just stronger overall. Stronger for like the cost. So Rocketeers, which I have come to ex to respect, they do like help you finish the game. They charge out and kill stuff. I have a reasonable amount of charge potential so far, though, and killing killing potential as well. I'm gonna take the Spellbreaker because he's a good median between like meat value that he's got decent sized stats and silence is so good. A lot of people like these. I mean. Later, later in the game, like one, first off, by the time they have ten mana crystals, this actually does like nothing for them, pretty much. But actually, I don't know. Do they do they get one of those? You should have got a mana crystal, but instead draw a card. Cards. I have no idea. Whatever. Fiat teacher makes tokens. I don't have that many. You know what? I'm gonna go with the young priestess because she can help. She could help out a starving buzzer or something like that. Um, I don't have a lot of the one cost things. And th these are not my favorite, like, large creatures. I'm going to take her instead. And then I can. It frees me up to take more large stuff. Multi shot, pretty good. But I've already got two big, like, multi kill cards. More is always good. But starving buzzer, man. They, they, they stack. Like, you, you have a starving buzzer out, and then you play a starving buzzer, you draw another card. Which could be a starving buzzer in this case. Unlike any constructed deck. Uh, Kill Command is a must. Kill Command is awesome. I'm not going to play a lot of Murlocs, and Courthound is a beast, but man, he's expensive and fragile. Um, yeah, so I don't have any combos with you. I'm not going to have any healing, I'm pretty sure. You're okay, but you're an Argent Commander. So, that's pretty good. Um, here's the thing. I know that tracking is amazing. I'm pretty sure that I should be taking tracking all the time. So, like, my experience, my knowledge of Magic the Gathering is telling me that this is amazing. This gives you the card that you need most right now, or dramatically increases your chance. But when you only have two copies of each card in your deck, the fact that you're going to be forced to discard two of these three cards bothers me. If this was like put the other two on the bottom of your deck, then I would be playing these all the time. But in my constructed hunter deck, I don't even use this. I use, I use flares instead. I mean, you could use both, but I use flares instead because I I don't like discarding cards in Hearthstone, and especially since if you run into a priest. They're already trying to grind you, make the game take longer, and they're going to win that way anyhow, often. This just, this accelerates your, like, deck death. If you, if you get stalled at all, I don't like that. I'm going to take the Dark Iron Dwarf. I'm just explaining that I know that I should actually take the tracking, and it's amazing. I just, I do not like it in Hearthstone. Um, my control tech is okay. Magnetic, yeah, I'm gonna take another explosive shot, cause damn, that is like firepower. Um, okay, here's the thing. I should probably take the youthful brewmaster, cause he's amazing, but I do wanna have a lot of beasts. I mean, he does stuff like. I guess I could. could heal a yeti, or a dark iron dwarf, reuse a spellbreaker, silverhand knight. He, get my bubble back for my Argent Commander. Like, if the Argent Commander doesn't die right away, next turn you can, like, attack with him, use his bubble, bounce him, cast him again, attack with him again, which is amazing. But I think that in, in the case of the deck with four starving buzzards, I think I'm actually going to take the Iron for Grizzly. Okay, Boulder Fist is large and fat. That's pretty good. <coughs> Acid Ooze. I mean, you usually you're gonna run into fewer weapons in 
in arena than in constructed because a lot of the classes that even the classes that do have weapons, a lot of their weapons are like rare and stuff. But it's still a th it's still a three two for two, and it's still like if you can kill a weapon with this, it's awesome. Hope you stomp warriors with the ground. You know what? I think I'm going to take the boulder fist though because I don't have that much large stuff. I, do, I would have some healing power, but now I'm going to get a deadly shot. I'm going to take the dire wolf. I need more beasts. And I have a surprising amount of killing power. Um, do we take the snapjaw or the timber wolf? Timber wolf. Just with, all, he, with all the starving buzzards, that's cheapness. And here, I've, I don't like the booty bay bodyguard as much. I, I prefer some of the other ones. Has to do is tempting, but Razor Fan Hunter, the boar that comes out with her is a beast, and you she's still pretty decent. You're getting three, four worth of like stats for three. Go take her. Another buzzard. Now here's the question: Is there diminishing returns on buzzards? Not unless I deck myself. Kill command is very tempting because it's so good. I it, at this if I take the kill command, I will literally have about as much killing power as my constructed hunter deck. Two explosive shots, a multi-shot, two kill commands, a deadly shot, and one hunter's mark. I'll be like one hunter's mark short, but even then I don't have the multi-shots in my actual, so I'll have as much or more killing power in this as my other one, but can I have too many starving buzzers? It helps me guarantee that I get them, but the buzzers themselves are fragile. Draw a million cards. I have four out of a 30 card deck. I should be getting them. I don't know. I think I'm going to take the kill command to try and help me get around problems. No, I'm going to count how many beasts I have first. One, two. Count the unleashes hounds as ones. A card. Two, three, plus four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 beasts out of 30 cards. I'm not worried about triggering the kill command. That I can do easily. I'm just trying to decide. I think more buzzers is probably just more win. I'm The kill command is so hard to not take. I should probably take the cult master because it's sick. But I might be in danger of like drawing myself into extinction. That's got to be hard to do though, right? Shouldn't you just win? I don't know, but I'm actually not going to take him. I think with five starving buzzards, I'm, I think I cannot take the cult master. I'm going to take the worgen infiltrator, because when I'm drawing all those cards, he's a good thing to draw. He's good, very good for his extremely cheap cost, and he gives me another first turn play as well. Houndmaster is not a beast, but he does work well with the numerous beasts I have. Or I could take the Razor Fan Hunter, which would give me another beast. She's sort of a weaker type card, but if 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 there is a beast in play, any beast that I can use him on, then he's giving me six five worth of stats for four. Mathematically, I should just take him. So we'll do that. Eagle Horn Bow. I have no secrets, so it's just just like the uh, Warrior Axe, but it costs one more. That said, having no weapons, one weapon becomes better because it's not conflict. You're never in the situation where you, oh, I already had a weapon, so why do I need another? So it's not getting in the way of another weapon ever. But Argent Commander is an Argent Commander. My deck will have so much like charging and killing and murdering power. They both give me a lot of like killing power. If I'm drawing a lot of cards, which is an assumption I'm making, which, again, I don't really have anything card draw -y other than the Starving Buzzards, so maybe that's not a, not a good assumption. It's going to be coming bursts. If I am drawing a bunch of cards, this is a lot easier to play after drawing it than the Argent Commander. But... Uh, he's an Argent Commander. I'd have two of them, which would be pretty awesome. I'd have so much, like, charging atomic blow up everything death. I think I'm going to take the Argent Commander. I should probably take the bow, but whatever. 
this feels like a pretty strong ass hunter deck. Now, if I had one or two more Unleash the Hounds, it'd be stronger. If I gotten any hyenas, see, I got all those buzzers, but I didn't get any hyenas, and they combo really well with each other. So only having one Unleash the Hounds, only having like zero hyenas, it's not. This deck is not exponentially insane like it could have been. I must protect the one. Let the hunt begin. Okay, you guys are both expensive. I have a fair amount of expensive stuff in here, but I think that most of it will serve me pretty well. So I, I'm having a hand, hound master and two beasts in the starting hand feels good. Oh, this deck is sick. Is it how good it is? How well it's going to do? I am not sure. I feel like it's good, but I really, it's, we're going to have to see. But it's definitely sick. It, it is messed up that I have this much carrion going on. So he's going to wild growth. So he's going to... He, he gets to keep his advantage of having gone second. Or, well, okay, not much. That's not really an advantage. He used the coin to do that. He's basic, but he's at least caught up effectively. Whatever. I'm going to play a buzzard. I wish I'd had her first turn, because then this would be a two-hit point buzzard, and it wouldn't be... He wouldn't be able to draw a card from killing it with Wrath. Oh, that's right, he can just kill it with Shapeshift. I am an idiot. Yeah, so, I don't know if you know, but I'm not really that bright. Oh, I thought I'd mention that too. Okay, let's, let's try this again. I'm going to have to wait until I get more beasts to actually draw cards. Stupid playing a buzzard against one of the three classes that can just instantly the kill them. That's why they used to be 2 2 earlier in the beta, and they got reduced to a 2 1 just because they were. they had too much potential to be strong. Um. Houndmaster is not a beast, so I'm not losing a card by playing it now. Next turn I can go buzzard and animal companion. But I think if I houndmaster this guy, that's pretty strong. I wonder. I mean, she's got a bubble. She'd probably be able to get through somehow anyway, but let, let's try this. This seems semi-obnoxious. Uh, I probably should have played him on the other side to get plus one attack. Not doing that seems like a little bit silly, but I'm sure I had a devious plan in mind. Come on. Okay, and then you're finishing this how? Because we know it's going to... You don't know for sure that it's going to work. But you do have the Kung Fu, so you can you can still finish it off. It's just going to hurt. <coughs> yeah, the Hounds always come on the right side, so this is not a great position. I really should have put it over there. Yeah, it's probably worth taking the damage to get rid of that guy. So I was going to do this, but now that my opponent has two creatures out, I can actually do the Unleash the Hounds buzzard card drawing machine combo. This is where the other player starts to complain. Buzzard! Come on, Timberwolves! No, just more buzzards. This is so insane! So insane. I'm gonna kill that. And we're gonna kill that too. Priestess has outlived her usefulness. Because now we have a clear board. I mean he'd be spending a third of all his mana if he wants to kung fu this buzzard, and that won't even help him. Like he'll be getting his ass beat in. There's this is this is pretty strong what's going on here. I have choices next turn. I can go, like, Buzzard, Animal Companion, Buzzard, Buzzard, just, like, Turbo Card Draw, which is probably too much. I can just Boulder Fist Ogre. He is killing the Buzzard. What, what is he going to do with the other four mana, though? What's going to help you? You need, like, a Senjin Shipmaster? That's not helping you, dude. Oh, man. You have problems. Um... Now here's the next question. This is going to seem like a stupid question. 
do I really need to draw more cards? Or am I better off just trying to friggin kill him? I wonder. This is, I, I, I haven't even done anything with this. I've been, had so much stuff going on, so many cards. But I can do two damage with this. Depending on what animal companion I get, one of them will be, make a 4-2 with charge. So then I'd be hitting for 9, 10, 11. Mm -hmm. You'd be damn near dead. And I could play a taunt. And another one would give plus one, plus zero to, to all my other creatures. So then I'd be hitting for five, six, seven. And then play a taunt. I think that drawing cards at this point is maybe superfluous. Let's see what animal companion I get. That one, okay. Not the most helpful, but we'll see. Super fair. It may have been smarter to just kill this thing off, but at this point I feel like I can just go for the kill. Didn't I end up with two kill shots or only one? I don't remember. I may have only had... I know, I know there was one I turned down. I just can't remember if I got another one afterwards. I have at least one kill shot, so that that's not a very high chance of killing the opponent. But I can shoot him down with this a lot. Yeah, so that's pretty big. That's, that's a pretty good stopper on my plans here. Okay, let's see what card I draw. Nope, that would have been good earlier this turn, but not now. So, I can't even kill this this turn. It's kind of annoying. I'm going to shoot you. I am not even going to play this Worgen, because he might have an area of effect spell to semi-save his butt. I'm going to do attack with this. And I'm going to attack with this. Which is also kind of dumb because I can't finish it. Actually, now that I don't have a giant army, I am going to play the Warden. He has to kill all of these things. I, I'm going to kill him in two turns anyway, unless he's got some big healing coming down, which he could. That's not helping you unless you've got some other stuff. I mean, that's really strong. But it's not helping you unless you can still stop all these other things, or give it taunt somehow, or heal yourself a lot. It's trying to decide which one to heal. It's probably got the, uh, the heal to heal. No, it's an Ancient of Lore. Okay. Ancient of Lore, solid, solid card. So that's giving him a chance. Hitting me would be moronic. He's, he's got to stabilize the situation. There's no way that he's killing me as fast as I'm killing him. So, he has eight hit points. I need to lose one of my guys to kill that, which leaves me with four, five, six, seven, eight damage. I win. First. I forgot I get to draw cards, too. Probably do that first. Doesn't really matter, though. I was only halfway through my deck, and I'm pretty sure I drew all of my birds. Ah, oh, I forgot to squelch him. So... I forgot to squelch him, man. So, you know... Could be better, could be worse. But, we're one win, no losses, and regardless of how actually good it is, the deck is definitely insane. Let's see what happens next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.